I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Hello, all my fellow golf enthusiasts, and welcome to this week's episode of Graybo's Giblets. We know you are busy, so we boil down all the noise of the internet to these 15-minute bite-sized giblets so you feel comfortable heading to the window or into the weekend. We are out here, and we are dropping giblets. I'm your host, Denny One Time, joined, as always, by the best middle school girls basketball coach in Western Henrico, in the history of Western Henrico, Graybo. How are we feeling, Gray? What's going on? I feel good. <clears throat> Had a pretty good one and done last week. That's about it. Watching the Celtics get crushed right now. Um, and actually, I had to resign my position of a girls basketball coach to do this. Man. Well, the, the history of Western Henrico sports will be forever changed in several ways. Um, we're also joined here by our producer, Fitzy Baby. Fitz, what's good? Hey, was that breaking news from Grabo? Breaking. That he put in no his nose. longer, no longer in the on the uh, Tuckahoe girls staff right now. Girls basketball. We I didn't ask for that, Gray. Did did you have to do that? I had to. Uh, but, good, but can you coach anything? Uh yeah, I'm gonna uh, be still with the Mavericks over there, okay. Freeman. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, you never asked me, Fitz. Fitz, are you good? Oh, I'm great. Thank you both for having me. <laughs> Thanks. Your hair looks great. Thank you. Um. Um, Fitz, would you like to give us our one and done and best bet results from last week? Sure. Another week and another drop spot for Fitz. Uh, moved down to 75th of 81. Uh, it could be worse though. I could be in like, I don't know, 77th. Let me see. Let me just check the notes real quick to see. That would be 77th. Shane Heskett currently in 77th. So Ooh, Shane. Totally random, totally random. But uh, yeah, we love our customers. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane. Denny one time dropped. also drops. Yeah, he dropped to 60th. So just really, I can't encourage our listeners enough to stop listening to to you and I. I mean, why does Wyndham Clark hate us? Can we just start yeah. there? Why he played well? We picked him. He played like crap, and then he played well again. Like, why does he do that to us? One and done. He was great. He was great. He was great all week. Not one even close. Week. Not even like. Down the stretch when you thought X Man, you know, Fitz, you bet on X Man, didn't you? I did not. Believe ah. <laughs> X Man cut it to one, like on sign, and then Wyndham just. Well, we took Wyndham Clark in one week steady. early, Fitz. Fitz one week early, and uh, in the movie, the big short, one of my favorite lines is when Michael Burry, which is uh, Christian Bale's character, says, uh, "I may be early, but I'm not wrong." And his, and his investor says, "It's the same thing. It's the same thing." <laughs> which in one and done, it's the same thing. You could. Pick the guy that's hot, and he he does nothing for you, and then he wins the next week and millions, wins millions of dollars. But what are you going to do? That's going to be you when uh, the investors for the fund are calling you about your David Roddy investments. You're just not going to be answering <laughs> the phone, uh, asking what the hell is going on. I'm going to be listening to heavy metal in my office with no shoes on. Uh, oh, my God. But no. Speaking of x Man, though, um, Graybo put in some legitimacy into the Graybo's brand here. Jumps Thank all God. the way up to 12th. Uh, Thank God. Big Thank you, pick there. Big, nice move. Pick, right? big move. Big move. No, yeah, it, was, it was good for me. Well, honestly, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for the pod. We, we actually have one person that looks like he knows what he's doing. So um, we're going to break down this week everything you need to know going into this weekend's AT&T Byron Nelson. We're going to give you some daily fantasy plays some one-and-done suggestions, our best outright winners, and our favorite play of the weekend, a segment we call We Ride. Um, so, Gray, kick us off with a course update. Where are we playing this week? Oh, yeah, we're going to head to uh, TPC Craig Ranch in Texas for the AT&T Byron Nelson, or a.k.a. the KH Lee Classic back-to-back -back winner here. Um, this is the third time uh, this tournament has ever been played. This course in KH Lee has won both times. Uh, it's par 71, about 7,400 yards. One of the easiest courses on tour. So it will be a birdie fest, a scoring fest, huge greens, easy fairways. I uh, might see it turn into a putting contest. So I'm going to look for a good putter this week. 
I uh, can see the winning score being minus 20 or higher, much higher. Um, looking for someone with good form. You have good course history in Texas, uh, a good birdie or better percentage and approach this week are my things to look at uh, for the AT&T Byron Nelson. So Back good, to you, Duke. Good uh, course history in Texas. Is Lee Trevino available, uh, Gray? Is he still alive? Uh, I think he's still kicking. I'm not sure he's <laughs> playing this week, but he's still kicking. Um, all right, so we're going to break down our daily fantasy picks into three categories, and we're going to the numbers we're quoting are DraftKings numbers. Uh, chalk is anything nine thousand and above. So, Gray, who are you taking above nine K? Um, man, so I'm going to play a few lineups here, and you know you want to play Scotty Tuhati and all of them, but he's so damn expensive at eleven nine. I'm going to play him in a couple, but um, my favorite play is going to move down to 9,200. Adam Scott, um, you know, played here once, made the cut here. I think it was like top 30, not great, but he does come in with a really good form fifth last week. Um, And he's like a really high caliber player. Like if you're looking at this field, like, you know, he's won the Masters. He's capable of winning. Good price for him. Um, and he's one of the better golfers this week. So I will be, he'll be my main guy if I'm not playing Scotty. Yeah. I always root for Adam Scott. Um, Fitz, who you like above 9K? Yeah. Just quickly, Lee Trevino, uh, confirmed alive and well. Uh, thank God. How old? Oh, it's the 83. 83. 83. I bet he's not, I bet you, uh, Gary Player is in better shape, but Lee, Lee Trevino was always a, Gary Player, man. Always one of my favorite. Um, all right, Fitz, who you like above 9K? All right, I'm going to have a common theme with my picks this week. Uh, I'm going to go with Tom Kim at 9,600, uh, strictly because he's a Dallas resident and gets to sleep in his own bed. And uh, huge. he was he won, he won was the only best bet win last week. Y'all didn't mention that. I won my best bet. Y'all didn't suck it. We'll get we're to gonna, that. We're going to get to our best bets year to date, including your year to date number, Grace. So get ready yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so for me, above 9K, it really came down for me. I was either going to go, like, like Scotty or KH Lee. Like, uh, to me, it's one of those two guys. Um, Scotty is just way more expensive. KH Lee, until he loses here, I think I'm going to just keep taking him. So uh, give, give me Lee 9,300 as opposed to Scotty at 11.9. Um, so value between 7 and 9K. Great, who are you like in this middle range? Yeah, uh, for the 8K range at 8,200, I'm um, taking Jaegerbaum. I think his first name's Steven. Um, he's been playing really well. I'm going to bet him, too. you got a good number on him. Uh, I'm looking for guys with really just really good form going into this week. You know, it's kind of a weaker field. Who's playing well? Um, and this guy is a birdie machine. That's what I want. Um, and I think he, he's going to do well for that price. And then I had to dig deep, uh, for the 70 to 7,100 guy. Like, you know, he hasn't been great at all, but then I looked at his numbers the last four rounds and, and he's from Texas. He lives in Texas. Excuse me. He's a Baylor alum and that's Jimmy Walker. You haven't heard that name in a while, but his last four, uh, rounds or excuse me, last four weeks, 14th last week, 15th where he was leading the whole time and on Sunday had a bad day. Um, I think that was the RBC Heritage in the 25th and the 22nd. So he's got some really good current form for 7,100. And if you want to fit in a top dog like Scotty, this is where you got to go, this low 7K. And, and I will be playing some Jimmy Walker this week. Shout out, to, shout out to Lyme disease and all the Lyme folks disease. from Lyme not, disease. That's not funny, dude. Yeah, that's I know. Funny. It's not. Um, I, I'm not laughing. Uh uh, Fitz, uh, who do you like in this middle range? I'm going with Sam Stevens, uh, 7,600. Love that freaking guy. Yeah, this is our fifth golf episode, and I've already referenced him three times. Uh, so oh, I, 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 have to, uh, I have to uh, apologize to the people last week. I, I think I mentioned Ben Taylor, and I was supposed to say Ben Griffin. I get mm. those two guys confused. Ben Griffin was actually 6,600, and Ben Taylor was 7,100. And I said Ben Taylor instead of Ben Griffin, but they both went five over, so they both missed a cut, so it didn't matter. Yeah. Ben Griffin's my favorite uh, Family Guy character, and uh, Fitz Sam Stevens. I always get him confused with Cat Stevens. I'm not sure if they're related, but uh, I believe there's also uh, 
Ben Martin. So I get all three of those guys confused. They're all like very similar players too. Hey Fitz, yeah. can you on uh, Gray's quarterly review? Can you mention that every time he's looking at the TV, he can't tell that we're getting ready to talk, and he he talks over us. So you might want to put that on his quarterly review. No, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. I got my side note because my computer was so bad last week. I got my work computer for the podcast and my notes on the other screen here, dude. You may just want to like right before you talk, you may want to just look at me and Fitz. And if Fitz is like he got his mouth open, you may want to just like pause and let him finish. Just an idea. Anyways, uh, Fitz, were you done with your Sam Stevens segment? Yeah, again, he's from Fort Worth. Uh, had a few top fives already this year. And uh, yeah, let's just get our names right because the hate mail was overflowing in my inbox. Due to the uh, the best name there, Greg. <laughs> Not a good Monday morning Fitz's inbox, I'm sure. Um, okay, so at this range, I'm taking uh, Seamus Power, 8,900. He's just under 9K. Uh, he came in 18th uh, at Quail Hollow, so he's coming in playing relatively well. Um, 17th and 9th here the last two years. And if I don't take him, I'm also considering Bazoonhout, uh, which is not what you say when someone sneezes. It's actually the dude's name. And he's 8K, um, and he came in 12th in this tournament last year. And I don't really honestly don't think you can go wrong with playing anyone with the last name Wu. Uh, a couple of those guys at, that are kind of dangerous in this field, in my opinion. So um, let's go under 7K. Uh, Gray, who do you like down in that range? Uh, well, I do want to say power. Love that play. Um, Thank you. I'm going to play him too. I just saw that you had him before me, so I didn't want to say him. Thank you. Saving him for you. Uh, below 7K, uh, man, this was this – was, Slim pickings down here, fellas. Um, so I just went 6,900, Bryce Garnett, threw a dart, three straight made cuts, 15th here last year. So go right. get him, Bryce. Under 7K, that's what you're looking for, right? Somebody's playing yep. well and has played here at least once. <laughs> at least one time he's played here. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it's only been played <laughs> twice. So, yeah, right. 15th last year. I think he, he made the cut the, the previous year too. So Man. playing some Chalk. Bryce. Chalk. All right, Fitz. Yeah, he will be chalk. I think he'll be choggy for sure. I'm going with a guy who's played here twice and missed the cut both times, but he did play at Southern Methodist University, and that's fan favorite Harry Higgs at 6,800. I love this. Y'all look for any human that's ever been in the state of Texas. I love it. Um, all right, so like I was looking to find somebody that like I liked in this range. It was tough. I took Piercy. Um, he came, came in second in this tournament two years ago. And then he's really just not that far removed from being a good golfer. I know he's not a good golfer now, but he has been at some point in the, uh, I in would, the recent I would, past. I would, I would love to get all over that action. Give me anyone versus him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like my power pick. You didn't like Piercy, but that, that's not that's 50% Graybo approval works for me. Um, all right, so let's go uh, one and done. Um, Gray, who are you going to burn this week in one and done? Yeah, this was kind of back and forth here. Like, I uh, really liked Adam Scott. And then Jason Day's, like, number, like, betting-wise surprised me, like, everywhere, like, 16-1, to 15-1, to 1, third favorite on some books. So, and then Adam was, like, in the 30s. So, I'm going to go – I'm going to burn Jason Day here, actually, who hasn't been, like, really good here. Um, so, it's kind of interesting that Vegas knows something. I'm going with Vegas. Third favorite. Uh, I don't think I would take him anywhere else, too. So, um, And he's capable of winning, for sure. Yeah, I'd say what Vegas knows is that I took Jason Day two weeks ago and he missed the cut. So, so oh, I like that even more. Like, yeah. you took him. Now's his time to shot with Wyndham Clark. Exactly. Uh, Fitz, who you like? Yeah, this is, this is when the listeners can smash that fast-forward button. <laughs> um, give him an opportunity to do that right now. All right, perfect. I'm going to go with Hideki. Uh, I was kind of thinking about him for, for daily, just from like an ownership standpoint, hoping that people are kind of scared off of that injury. But he did finish third here last year, and he's one of the better players in the field this week. So, And, again, I'm in like almost last place, so really who cares? So I'm going to go with Hideki. <laughs> no, I actually like that pick. If he's healthy, I mean, if he plays and he's healthy. I, I um, do like that. But it's not. I like that. Um, I'm. I'm. I got to get weird and in, in one and done to try to catch up. I just can't go chalk. Um, so I thought about taking power, but I think he actually is going to be fairly uh, used yeah, this week. People, people will take him. So I'm. I'm going to go a little weirder and take Bazoud and Hoyt. Um, it's just he's a little farther down the list 
uh, as far as odds go. And uh, he's he's got some good history here. So um, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Now, you know, like in uh, in Seinfeld, when George Costanza realizes that all of his intuitions are bad and that he should just go against his first intuition, that's how I'm doing now in One and Done. Like I wanted to take power. I'm like, wait, no, that's what that's what you would do. And it's sucked. So let's do something different. He does, so, yeah, he does the, the opposite. Yeah. You know, my name's George. I'm unemployed. I live, I live with my, my parents. parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, it seemed to work for him. Um, okay. So let's roll into our next segment, Outright Winners. And so this is who we're actually going to bet on, on the fan duels and DraftKings of the world to actually uh, ship it. So, Gray, who do you like? Guys, can we hit one this week? Jeez. We're we, we, we let's do it. We have we felt good last week. We didn't hit it. Cam Young was terrible. Hovland finished six over on Sunday. Wyndham Clark was awesome. So, uh, all on FanDuel. Great numbers this week for FanDuel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Adam Scott thirty six to one. Uh, Jaeger bomb forty six to one. And Power love this number forty four to one for my man Power. I like it yeah, fits, and this is where the sound it. bar. It's going to come in when if, every time Grace says Jaeger bomb, you say Jaeger bomb. Like mm-hmm. we need that sound bite. So just put that one in your, in your, in your memory bank. Okay. Back pocket. I do like the power at 44. I feel like with both of you guys, I might have to mush that one and ride it <laughs> with you, but uh, I'm going with Tom Hoagie 50 to one on MGM. Uh, he leads this field for strokes gained approach and proximity gain from 200 yards. He also played golf at TCU in Fort Worth. So, Damn, uh, we're building a Texas team here. You got to go with it. Um, and then also, I'm going to go back to Sam Stevens just because um, his odds were so good on FanDuel at 75 to 1. Okay, Very nice. Sam Stevens. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I'm sprinkling a, a lot, a lot of places this week because I don't like the chalk to me just isn't paying enough. Uh, you know, so I'm not going to take Scotty or, um, or KH Lee. So I am going to bet. Power forty four to one, Bazudin height sixty five to one. I'm gonna sprinkle a bit on Scott Stallings. He's actually had a little success here, seventy five to one. And he's a weirdo who can just who just appears every once in a while. Um, and I'm gonna take the woos. Brandon is sixty five to one, and Dylan is one hundred thirty to one. One hundred thirty. Where's, where's Kenny? Uh, I don't. I didn't see Kenny Woo. Um, is he not playing this week? But uh, Gray. No, he's a mighty duck. So yeah. Um, but, yeah, so those are the guys I'm sprinkling some on. And uh, let's see. Between us, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different guys. So that's a good chunk of the field. Let's see who's around uh, on Sunday. All right. Our last segment is entitled We Riding, and this is our best bets of the week. And Fitz is going to give us a little update on how we're doing year to date through four weeks. Yeah, through four weeks. Um not great, not terrible. Gray, you're you're pretty much even. You're you, you've lost a little bit on the juice, but uh, we'll give you even. Uh, I am actually up almost a unit and a half, mostly due to that uh, Wyndham Clark and Hostler pick a couple weeks back. And Duke, you are right above a half unit, so we're not costing the listeners too we're much not, money, which is not, good. Yeah, we're not terrible. We're not terrible. So just think about it. Like if our unit was a million bucks, we'd be up two million dollars right now collectively. Yep. That's how you have to think of it. I did lose. A, uh, I had to. I had to call it myself. I did lose a unit to uh, Duke last week. Yeah, remind the listeners what that bet was with uh, Lanto Griffin and Grillo. Lanto Griffin might have came in last place, but uh, Grillo did have a good week. I mean, yeah, you know, he he looked iffy there with Tom Kim down the stretch, but he made the back game. to back Grillo back to back weeks. Um, what a what yeah. a gamer. He's a gamer. But I'll take I'll take any action on Scott Piercy this week. All right, think about who before we wrap up who you want to put up against Scott Piercy that's below seven K. Okay. I'll take my guy uh Bryce Garnett. All right. For one unit? Yeah, we'll do one unit. That's a, that's a bet. Right. And I'll send you my my unit. Okay. Fair enough. Demo, since I already lost. I Fair didn't enough. send it to you yet, right? Correct. Yeah. All right. Celtics like are down that. Celtics are down fourteen with eight minutes to go. Yeah. Seventeen now. They awful. Yeah, man, my God. Okay. Um, all right, let's go with uh, Gray. What is your best bet of the week? Yeah, we haven't mentioned him uh, at all on this pod. Uh, Matt Kuchar, top 20, plus 125. Uh, top 20 here both times that he's played. We're looking for a top 20 here. 
Top 20 both times. Last four, again, recent form. Always love recent form. More than course history, in my opinion. 23rd, 19th, a third, and a ninth. So I, top 20 here looks good for plus money. Uh, go get them. I like it. Fitz. Oh, I see. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Go ahead, Fitz. Get yeah, it. I almost didn't take him because I didn't want to have to say his name out loud. But uh, Zidenhut. I think Duke 20. said his name like three different times. I know. And that's, and that's, that's, that's got me even more worried about saying it. Uh, <laughs> He's he's a top twenty plus two forty on FanDuel. Um, he over the last thirty six rounds is number one strokes gain putting on bent grass. Uh, mm. which is what they have. Look at, look at Fitz's there, research, yeah. baby. I am in on that now. Now that you just said that, I'm betting him. Yeah, sounds like you might be right. Yeah, I'm riding with you this week. Great riding. Okay, and what's funny, you know, I might as well do. It. Let's let's just make that the. the I'm gonna. Say my own bet, but I'm going to ride it with you guys too, so we can all cheer on Bazoo and Hoop together. Um, cause they, <laughs> they literally, came, they literally <laughs> came down to me, to him, or Seamus Power. Seamus Power is a little chalkier; he's plus 180 on DraftKings. Um, so, hey, let's do it both. Let's let's ride. Um, what's his first name? Christian. Yes. Yeah, Christian. Okay. Let's just call him Christian B. How about that? Um, I like it. All right. So, best bets of the week: Grace taking Coochie Cooch. Fitz, Fitz is taking Bazoot and Hoot. I'm taking Power, but we're all great. I'm also going to ride on Bazoot and Hoot, so let's do it. Um, all right, guys and gals, that is all for today. We appreciate you riding with Gray Bows. Be sure to tune in next time to see how Bazoot and Hoot did. Uh, please make sure you're subscribed. We'd be honored if you'd give us a follow and a review. Uh, for details and show notes, please go to graybows.co slash giblets. Please email us at info at graybows.co. You can follow us on the gram at Graybos underscore cards, and stop by our bustling, rustling and bustling, baseball, basketball, football, sports card shop located at 214 East Gray Street in the Arts District of Richmond. We appreciate you riding with Graybos. Giblets! When I go to sleep, I don't see sheep, see dollar signs. Hundred dog got him beat the eyes for the hundredth time at a money line. Brock Purdy was irrelevant. Now I'm at the front like a cutting line. G5 to the power five. Gray was on fire like a summertime. I know they watching. I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down. Place your bet. Degenerate. Yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window?